Hello YouTube and welcome back. In this video we're going to be installing a retrofit kit on an earlier model block. This happens to be a 351 modified. It can be a 351 Cleveland, 289, 302 or a Windsor. What is a retrofit kit? A retrofit kit is when we want to put a roller cam onto an engine that never had a roller cam before. There are several different kits for engines that have never had a roller cam before. And that's the issue is with the roller cam, we need to hold the lifters uh, from spinning. On any other kind of cam, hydraulic, flat tappet, solid, the lifter needs to spin to stay alive. On a roller cam, there's a roller at the bottom, this is the so roller we don't want the, the lifter to spin. It has to stay stationary. If it spins, you're gonna destroy an engine. So, we need a retrofit kit. All late model engines that have roller lifters have a hold down that keeps them from spinning. Earlier models did not. So, this is what we have. All right, here's all the tools we're gonna to be needing today. I'm using a Dykeman's Red so I can see where I'm gonna drill. I'm using a center punch to find my spot. I'm using a number six drill to drill for the quarter inch 20 tap. I'm using a way to turn the tap and an Allen wrench. Hammer for the center punch. Real simple, but basically, here's all the tools we'll be needing. All right, when doing a retrofit kit, what's very important is Tip of the day, you have to use comps lifters. It's a different lifter. So one of the common mistakes that a lot of people are having out there is they're seeing the retrofit kit and going, oh, it's just a Ford kit. I'll go get this stuff from a junkyard, put it in, or I'll buy just the kit itself and only buy some of the parts. You wanna read the instructions. One of the key pieces to making this work is the lifter. It is a special lifter, it's taller, because the Ford block actually machined the top of the blocks down to clearance this, or to have clearance for this. So the top of the block is machined flat right there. Well, we don't have a block that's been machined down, hence the retrofit kit. So key element is to use the special lifters that come with it. I like to just drop in the lifters. This one just came out of the hone, so I went ahead and put a camshaft in it just to have something to hold the lifters. You can do this in the car. The instructions show you how to do it in the vehicle. I'm not gonna go there because it doesn't matter. Y'all can figure that out or read the instructions. I'm just gonna show you some of the tips. The tip one, make sure you use the correct lifter. The correct lifter for this particular application is an A51-16 comp. It is a special taller lifter. The retrofit, the retrofit kit, there's the instructions, 31-1000 is what we're using. All the instructions are there and it tells you everything that I'm telling you. I'm just showing you so if you don't want to read. Let's get going. All right, the, the, the lifter's in. I dropped in a few. You don't have to drop them all in. You can if you want. These are look dog bones. This is what holds the lifters from spinning. So it's gonna go in there and that keeps the lifter from spinning. They touch two lifters. Now the lifters can go up and down, but they cannot spin. So I go ahead and you don't need to drop them all in. The four corners will do. It's kind of simple though I have to say it. It says up right there. There's a little ball right there and it says up. So if you can guess, we want that to aim up. You're gonna get the hole down. That's where that little piece is gonna be right there. It's gonna ride right in there. That's why it has that little titty up there. Stop it, people. Just... All right, so the lifter tray hold down is gonna hold the dog bones in place. And that's it. Now we need to just drill and tap these. And you, that's, that's basically it. It's a real simple kit. There are some tips though. Right in here where you're gonna drill them, those go into the cam bearings. So, if you're doing this in the vehicle with the camshaft in it, do not drill all the way through. I'm doing this as a bare block with no cam bearings in it, so I can drill all the way through now because once I'm drilled and tapped it, once I put my cam bearings in, it's not gonna affect it one way or another. But an important tip, if you're doing this in the car or on a stand with the engine assembled, 
do not drill these all the way through. You'll hit the camshaft. You'll do some damage to the camshaft or cam bearings, and you don't want to do that. Another tip of the day. We're going to put our hold down tray in place, and basically there's no real art to it. What I like to just do is put it in between the lifters. Look at the lifters. If you want to put them all down and put them right in, the, in between, if you're off one way or another, it doesn't matter. These holes here are slotted anyway, so even if you drill them a little off, you can still adjust it before you tighten them down. I know where it's going to go because I see them. They're in the middle. It's not interfering with anything. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody is happy. So what we want to do is once we know exactly where it's going to go and it's in place, you want to go ahead and center it. I'm centered right there and I'm liking it. I'll put this down in place and done. I'm going to hold that there while I center this other side. Kind of find the happy medium. Put it in the center. Done. So one of the things I've done also is I went ahead and put some red dye here just so that I could see my spots, but it's not necessarily something you have to do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these and tap them. All right, we're going to use the number six drill bit to drill and tap these here. And there's no real, it's not really critical. Just do a good job, do as straight as you can. Ears. Make sure you wear eye protection. All right, back. I'm gonna go and test the screw hole. Make sure we're down far enough. Looking good. Look at there. Like I said, we don't want to drill all the way through out the other side, but. We have in the past. Okay, we're done. That's simple. What I am going to do is we got a couple of different options here. See this rib right here that's sticking up higher? We can go ahead and die grind that ridge out of there since it's here in the shop. We can grind all that out of there. Instead, what I'm going to do is make two little washers for under here. I'm going to put two little spacers about the same height as right here. So when I put this down and tighten it, it doesn't just bend this up because of these two ridges. The, the Cleveland the Modified has these ridges, the 3024 does not. All we need to do is make sure that we're holding down all of our holders and they work just fine. I don't need to take the time to remove those ridges. I like them for strength, but I am going to add two washers right there underneath it. And that's basically it. Go ahead and put all this back on, just so that you can see the finished product. Mm -hmm. 
This is the roller I was talking about at the bottom, but... Like I said, this isn't a video on what is a roller cam, but if some of y'all out there may want to know what a roller cam is, also another little tip of day, put these in and help, use them to help you align your lifters up. Much easier. Up is aiming up. I will wash my hands after doing this before final assembly. This is just mock-up. So, not to worry about my hands are dirty. Make sure the up is aiming up. There they are. Hold down tray. I'm going to use Loctite on those in final assembly. This is just mock-up. All done. All right, we're all done. It's a real simple kit, didn't take that long. There's a couple of tips. Don't drill too far, you'll hit the cam bearings. Make sure that you don't do this with anybody else's lifters. For this to work properly, you need the special comp lifters. They're taller, the base circle is different. All that doesn't matter, they do all the work for you. Buy the kit, don't skip and go, I'm gonna put another set of lifters from another, from a 4302. Um, if you were to machine your block down, you could do that. But the retrofit kit is so that you don't have to do much machining to your engine. Um, there is machining. There's two holes I gotta drill and I gotta tap. Quarter inch 20, a number six drill bit. That's basically it. It's, all right, it is real simple, but some of these things can bite you in the butt. If you started engine assembly already, and then as you're pulling all the parts out, you go, my block's not drilled. That has happened before. Tip of the day, drill it before you put it in the hot tank. But you can do this in the vehicle or on a stand. That's basically it. All right, hope you've enjoyed it. Been educational, entertaining, if nothing else. Tell your buds, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. I gotta get back to work. Here's the retrofit kit for the Ford. You can buy this from Comp.